Hello and welcome to the channel. Staunch Peter Hobby supporter and the veteran musician Charles Oputo, aka Charlie Boy, has promised to walk naked if the judges declare Hobby winner of the ongoing election petition tribunal. <laughs> this is the same person that said he would leave Nigeria if Peter Hobby didn't win the February 25th presidential election. So I'll take his comment with a pinch of salt. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. What I will do at Bodilion if Peter Hobby wins at the tribunal, Charlie Boy. Veteran Nigerian singer Charles Oputo, popularly known as Charlie Boy, has revealed the weird thing he would do if the Labour Party held P presidential candidate. Peter Hobby wins at the election tribunal. Ninja News recalls that the Rolling Hall Progressives Congress APC candidate, Bola Tinubu, was declared the winner of the February 25th presidential election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, HINEC, and was subsequently sworn in as president on May 29. Peter Hobby and his party, including the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate, Atikwa Abubakar are currently challenging the victory of President Tinubu in court. In a post shared on Twitter, Charlie Boy vowed to walk naked on the street of Bodilion to follow more if the former governor of Anambra State wins at the tribunal. He wrote, When tribunal announced say Peter Hobby don't win even before the case reached Supreme Court, waiting you go do that day. For me, I go naked walk out from one hand of Bodilon to follow more. Meanwhile, Peter Hobby has claimed that the Independent National Electoral Commission Hynek is turning a blind eye to electoral fraud and wasting the country's resources. In their final statement submitted to the Presidential Election Petitions Court on July 23, 2023, Hobby and the Labour Party stated that if the court does not hold Hynek accountable, for conducting elections fairly and independently, elections in Nigeria will continue to be tainted. The Labour Party and OB criticized INEC for neglecting its main duty of overseeing elections fairly and instead favoring certain candidates in the elections it conducted. They pointed out that INEC devoted a substantial part of its address to defending the qualifications of the second respondent, Tinubu. Citing a previous case, Alechenu 2019 LP ELR 49199CA, they criticized INEC for often obstructing access to election materials, even when ordered by the court to produce them. Or B and the LP accused INEC of acting in favor of the declared winner to hinder the petition. Further, Or B asserted that INEC is obliged by the Electoral Act 2022 the INEC regulations and guidelines, and the INEC manual to use modern technology for the conduct of the 2023 general election. The final address reads, By this, INEC represented and assured that it would use by model voter accreditation system, BVAS, for the accreditation of voters in the polling units and the upload and transmission of the results of the election in real time on the day of the election to the INEC result viewing portal. I rev. However, contrary to the requirement of the law and in manifest disregard of its own representations, the first respondent, INEC, abandoned and discarded the much expected upload and transmission of the result of the election in real time on the day of the election from the polling unit to the high rev. Rather, and very strangely, blurred, unreadable, and inaccessible documents and images were uploaded by the first respondent to the IREF purporting same to be the result of the election in various polling units. These blurred images and inaccessible documents were purported to be the result of the election in the polling units. The net result of the upload of the blurred images on the IREF was that the result of the election could neither be authenticated nor verified, and thus lacked credibility and transparency. The first respondent's contention that the collation of the election results remained a manual process is patently false and seems to have disregarded the express provisions of the Electoral Act, regulations and manual for the election. 
collation of election results at all the stages of the election process specifically provide for electronic transmission to the IREV, which is part of the collation system under the Electoral Act. The authority of the Federal High Court determination in suits number FHC ABJ CS 1454-2022 relied upon by the first respondent in its final address and heavily harped upon in its argument is par in curiam and in manifest contradiction of the binding later decision of the Supreme Court in her appeal number SCCV 508-2023 Oyetola v. Hynek delivered on 9th May 2023 Despite the first respondent's claim that the hard copies of the forms EC8A were allegedly used for the manual collation of the election, which by that reasoning ought to be in the first respondent's custody and possession, the first respondent nevertheless gave to the petitioners as certified copies of the electoral forms, including alleged forms EC8As, blurred and blank extraneous copies. The alleged hard copies of the forms EC8A claim to have been used for the manual collation were neither produced in court nor certified copies thereof tendered in court by the first respondent. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. On his part, the legal counsel to President Bola Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima Wale Olani Kwekon has refuted the final written argument presented by Peter Hobby on the Labour Party LP, who are disputing Tinubu's presidential election victory. Hobby, representing the LP, challenged Tinubu's win in the February 25th presidential election. In response, Olani Kwekon filed a counter argument with the presidential election petition tribunal, requesting the court's Dismiss both the original petition and the final written argument from Hobby and the LP. The opposition had claimed that Sinubu was not qualified to run for president because of a $460,000 forfeiture in the U.S. and his failure to secure at least 25% of the votes in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. However, in a 14-page retort, Sinubu's legal team insisted that Hobby and the LP had effectively Abandon their case in their final rating address. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.